What's up guys, I'm back for another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Blink-182 albums from Cheshire Cat all the way to the newest album, California, with Matt Skiba on lead vocals, replacing Tom DeLonge, the longtime member who has departed not once, but twice already. And um, so I'm going to share my thoughts on every single Blink-182 album from Cheshire Cat to California, and I'd like to hear from you guys which album is your favorite and least favorite, and which one do you think was the best record, and which one was the worst record, and which one do you think was could have been better, alright? So... Now, my opinion here is um, is my opinion. Uh, this is how I personally feel about these albums. And you don't have to agree with it. That's okay. Uh, you can leave your comments down below. I'd like to hear from you guys. Um, but, um, so, if I hurt any feelings out there, I'm sorry. You know, this is just my personal opinion of what I think about Blink-182 albums from Cheshire Cat all the way to California. So, here we go. First album came out in '94. Cheshire Cat it was amazing. It was kind of an underrated album. It had songs like Carousel and Eminem's and Wasted Time, uh, and just a great record. Kind of underrated. Not my favorite, but it's still a really good record. If you're new to Blink-182, definitely check out Cheshire Cat. Um, also, Buddha is also I think the demo version of what Cheshire Cat originally uh, became. Uh, but check, check out that album as well. That one's also really good. Next album is Dude Ranch, 97, the second album, a little bit more polished this time around, um, a little bit more radio friendly, but kind of still felt a little bit underrated as well. Songs like Josie and Damn It uh, are really awesome. My favorite song is Pathetic, the first track, and also Dick Lips and Waggy and Apple Shampoo and uh, Lemming, Lemmings are also really good songs as well. Those, those I really like too. Uh, Dude Ranch is also really good. If you're, like I said, if you like Cheshire Cat, then you're definitely going to like Dude Ranch. Then we get to the third album, Enemy of the State, which is like their most popular one. This one's really awesome. I love this one. I remember when it first came out, it was amazing. Uh, songs like What's My Age Again, um, All the Small Things, Adam's Song, Alien is, Aliens Exist. Um, just great, awesome songs. This was my favorite album of all time for a while back in the day. But I think that another album of theirs uh, just recently has moved up to first place uh, with this being in second place but still this album is still one of my top three favorite albums of all time so Enema of the State is amazing I love that album and it's excellent one of their best records ever then in 2001 they released their fourth record um, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket which came out in 2001 songs like First Date The Rock Show Stay Together for the Kids is really amazing Anthem Part 2 is really good Overall, this album was amazing. It was kind of like almost like a sequel or follow-up to Enema of the State, except a little bit more mature sounding, I think. That's just, how, that's just my opinion, but um, that album was great. It was amazing. Really solid songwriting. Overall, just an amazing record. Highly recommend you check out Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. Here's where I think that albums started to fall apart a little bit. Once the two main members of this group, Mark Hoppus and Tom DeLonge, were having problems with, within each other, as far as um, <clears throat> songwriting issues or problems they were having, whatever it may be that they were going through, uh, it really hurt their next, their fifth record called The Self-Titled from 2003. Um, even though what this album managed to put out five major hit singles, such as Feeling This, Miss You, which is a really good song, uh, more of a slower track, Always Down, uh, are also really good, but despite that, Despite those songs being really good, the rest of the album to me felt kind of bland and weak and just didn't feel very... It didn't capture my attention, really. It wasn't one of those albums where I want to listen to it over and over and over. You know, it, it was kind of weak. I think it's. I think the reason for that is because the two members, Mark and Tom, were having a lot of problems with, within, within each other uh, as far as, you know, just not getting along and, you know, just the just the structure of the two members were, was just falling apart, you know, their their relationship was, you know, falling apart, and they just weren't getting along anymore, I think that really hurt this album, and it, it, which would explain why this, why it feels kind of weak and bland, and, and kind of, uh, I don't know, it just didn't feel like a very strong album, where it, you just know when this album is, you know, on par with the inspiration, the motivation, the dedication, the heart, the 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 energy, the you know just the the effort, you know, it just felt very whatever whatever things these two members are going through, you can kind of experience on this album. You know, it clearly shows. It, it kind of hurt the album in a way. 
But um, that's just my opinion. I think this album was was their weakest effort. Um, not that they wanted to let the fans down. It just it just came out that way, due to the problems that Mark and Tom were having within each other. Um, same thing with the next record, 2012 Neighborhoods. Um, even though that Tom has returned back with the band at the time, and that everybody, all three members, are back together, it, it still felt more of the same. It felt like it felt even more awkward and more weak because I don't know if like Tom really wanted to come back or uh, or the fans were just like demanding it, you know, because it wasn't the same without him. And I don't know, I, I, if this album to me feels a lot of the same, even though there's some really good tracks on here, but it felt like Tom and the other two guys, Travis and Mark, just didn't really feel like their, their old selves, you know, like, even though Tom's back in the group, I felt like Tom was kind of like asked to come back, even though he really didn't want to. And then after this album came out, Tom again leaves the band and then had to find a new singer. So it's like, it makes you wonder what was the point of them coming back in the first place if Tom's not really going to stay, you know what I mean? So again, this album felt, didn't the structure of it didn't feel very strong. It felt like it was just going to fall apart easily because it, it did not come off as convincing. Like I was listening to a record that these three guys are back together, you know, they're, 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 they're getting along, you know, they're working together. It just felt like it was just sort of there and it didn't really feel like the heart and the emotion and, and, and the effort just wasn't there. Even though that Tom's back, it still wasn't strong enough to me. I don't know. But I mean, if you, I mean, it was, it was an okay record. It wasn't horrible. It's just that it just didn't feel the same, you know, the relationship trying to get bad together. It's like, okay, well maybe they might put their differences aside. Maybe they might, you know, just say, hey, you know what, let's, let's put aside all of our bitching and problems that we've had in the past, and let's try to make a good record, let's try to get back to the old days of Blink-182, and it, I, I was really hoping for that, but when I listened to Neighborhoods, it felt like, besides the major hits, everything else kind of felt kind of flat, you know, it was not as memorable, like I said, with the, with the debut album from 2003, both of these felt very weak, and besides the hit singles, it didn't really feel like it stood out that much, as, as much as it should have, but... Um, going on to the next record, California with Matt Skiba from Alkaline Trio. This album is amazing. I love this record. You can, I, I, I got the feeling of, you know, uh, feeling of joy, feeling of, um, like the band is, is finally yet, you know, happy again and, and everybody's getting along and it just seemed like with Matt Skiba, it was so much better, you know, with him and the band, even though he wasn't original guy, it wasn't an original person, but it was the band everybody seems to be happy everybody seems to be equal you know and uh this album california is is better than the debut record from 2003 and i think it's better than neighborhoods uh, even though that tom has come back with the group at the time and all three of them are originally back together but i felt that the album with matt skiba on california was um, a much better effort you know just every just the whole album itself the vibe that i was getting was like okay you know what i really want to listen to this album more than once the last two before that not so much. So uh, this is my personal opinion. I really look forward to hearing more from Matt Skiba. I hope he stays with the band. If Tom decides to come back, that's cool too. But it's up to him. We can't force him to come back. You know, if he doesn't want to come back, that's it. You know, we can't force him to come back. So um, hopefully, you know, this album, this album review or or, or uh, discography review was uh, helpful to you guys out there. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if you feel the same way as I do. Leave some comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope this video helped. If it didn't help, I'm sorry. But I'm just giving my honest opinion about these albums. I think that their earlier records were way better than um, up to the point where Mark and Tom were not getting along anymore. And uh, it really hurt the album itself. And uh, it was kind of disappointing. But let me know what you guys think down below. Love to hear from you guys. Hopefully somebody else out there feels the same way. I'm DK Double Playground. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.